वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ किशोर फरडे मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट शिवाजीराव अयोध्या पॉलिटेक्निक असनगाव इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन दि बेसिक कंपोनंट्स ऑफ आय सी इंजिन द लर्निंग आउटकम्स द लर्नर विल एबल टू आयडेंटिफाय डिफरंट कंपोनंट्स ऑफ आय सी इंजिन्स अँड इट्स एसेसरीज ऑल्सो द लर्नर विल एबल टू मेंटेन the internal combustion engine parts introduction dear students power producing and absorbing devices are essential for mechanical engineering it is necessary for mechanical engineering technologist to analyze the working and plot the performance of internal combustion engine the student should have the knowledge of the basic components of internal combustion engine for maintaining the internal combustion engine so in this video we will discuss all the basic components of internal combustion engine this knowledge is also useful for selecting suitable prime mover for given application and to maintain and test the same the internal combustion engine parts this figure shows the various components of internal combustion engine so in internal combustion engine the basic parts are camshaft cam mixture in means intake port intake valve combustion chamber then cylinder block connecting rod crankshaft wall spring exhaust wall cylinder head cooling water the cooling water is circulated around the cooling water jacket to dissipate the heat which is produced during combustion piston crankcase and spark plug so now we will study these basic parts of internal combustion engine in detail The first part of internal combustion engine is cylinder. This cylinder of internal combustion engine have to withstand the pressure up to 70 bar and the temperature up to 2500 degree centigrade because the combustion of the fuel is carried out within the cylinder. The cylinder is provided with cylinder liner on the inner side and cooling arrangement on the outer side this cylinder is made up of the cast iron steel alloy or aluminum alloy the next component of internal combustion engine is cylinder head the cylinder head of internal combustion engine consists of spark plug for the petrol engine and the fuel injector or nozzle for diesel engine this cylinder head is made up from cast iron steel alloy or the aluminum alloy the next component is piston the piston of internal combustion engine is a device which transmits the energy or force of the expanding gases to the connecting rod so this piston always reciprocates or slides up and down inside the cylinder the material for the piston is aluminum steel cast steel and cast iron the figure shows the pistons for internal combustion engine the next component is connecting rod the connecting rod is the link between the piston and the crank the connecting rod transmits the force from the piston to the crankshaft means this connecting rod converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion of the crankshaft the connecting rod having two end the small end and the bigger end 
the small end of the connecting rod is connected to the piston and the big end is connected to the crankshaft. This connecting rod is made from special steel alloy or carbon steel. So this figure shows the connecting rod having the small end and bigger end. The small end of the connecting rod is connected to the piston and the bigger end is connected to the crankshaft. The next component of internal combustion engine is the piston ring. The piston rings are inserted in the grooves of the piston. The function of piston ring is they seal the space between the cylinder liner and the piston to prevent the leakage of high pressure gases from cylinder to the crankcase. There are two types of piston ring. One is the oil ring and second is the compression ring. The oil ring, the one ring is used and compression ring, the two ring are used. So the material for this piston ring is a special steel alloy and cast steel. The figure shows the different piston rings used for internal combustion engine. The next component is the crankshaft. The crankshaft of IC engine is the device which is used for getting power from the motion of the piston and connecting rod and this power is applied to the flywheel. So this crankshaft runs under the action of piston through the connecting rod and crank pin. It will also transmit power from the piston to the driven shaft. So this material for the crankshaft is medium carbon steel or alloy steel. So this figure shows the crankshaft having rod journals and the main journals. The main component of the internal combustion engine is also crankcase. The, it is the bottom portion of the internal combustion engine and holds the cylinder and the crankshaft. It is a housing of the crank and it also serves as a sump for the lubricating oil. The material for the crankcase is the cast iron aluminium alloy. So this figure shows the crankcase for internal combustion engine having different parts like crankshaft bearing or bracket, carburetor floor, the in cylinder attached over here, water jacket, rocker arm, lake, radiator return and the cylinder bay. So all these are the parts of the crankcase. The next component of internal combustion engine is the flywheel. It is a big wheel which is attached with the crankshaft. It maintains the speed of the engine constant. So this flywheel will store the excess energy during power stroke and return this energy during other strokes whenever there is a requirement. Means this flywheel maintains the speed of the crankshaft constant. The flywheel is made up from mild steel and for high speed application for lightweight the carbon fiber or the composite material is also used. So the figure shows the flywheel used for IC engine. So the next components are spark plug. The spark plug is used in petrol engine to ignite the air fuel mixture after completing the compression stroke. It is generally mounted in the cylinder head. The material for the spark plug is copper body with nickel alloy electrode or iridium is also used for the spark plug. The figure shows the spark plug of IC engine which is used in the petrol engine. The next component is the fuel injector. 
the fuel injector is used in the diesel engine to break up the oil into the fine spray in the diesel engine it is generally mounted in the cylinder head carburetor the carburetor is provided in the petrol engine to prepare the homogeneous mixture of air and fuel so this carburetor is supplied means this mixture or the air fuel mixture is supplied to the engine cylinder through the suction valve or suction port or inlet port the next component is inlet valve as the name itself suggests that inlet valve is used to admit the fresh charge into the cylinder the material for the inlet valve is the nickel chrome the exhaust valve after exhaust stroke the gases which are remain that are useless and that gases are exhausted from the cylinder to the outside by using exhaust valve so the material used is a nickel chrome stainless steel etc the next component is a piston pin piston pin connects the piston to the smaller end of the connecting rod the material for the piston pin is a hardened steel governor we know that in turbines also the governor is used to regulate the speed of the turbine for varying load conditions similarly in case of engine the governing mechanism or the governor is a used it is run by drive from crankshaft and the main function of governor is to maintain quantity of the charge to keep the engine speed constant for varying load conditions so in this way we had studied all the basic components of internal combustion engine dear students in maharashtra state board of technical education to check your knowledge about these basic components the question will ask explain the functions of the following internal combustion engine components or suggest suitable material for following internal combustion engine components like piston piston pin crankshaft connecting rod etc so i hope this video will help to solve this maharashtra state board of technical education question so thank you stay safe stay healthy stay happy thank you thank you very much